have again our very own entertainment correspondent, Francine Brokaw, giving us some the deets on everything entertainment, but this time about streaming services. Francine, thanks so much for joining us again. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. And it's my pleasure to bring all this information to everybody, especially for Mother's Day. Um, if you are your mind is being blown, what do I get mom this year? There are so many streaming services out there that um, just are, are into different niches. So whatever your good idea. Yeah, there's so yeah. many. But um, let's let's well originally the streaming services were mainly Netflix and Hulu and they had movies and TV shows on demand. That was their big deal. I remember when Netflix was um, just starting out and there was this joke that went around saying that Netflix is the place where good movies go to die. And we just <laughs> would laugh and laugh and laugh, you know, and now like jokes on us because Netflix is killing it. It's amazing. It is, I forgot. Uh, but I tell you since, uh, let me show you, since Disney Plus, uh, these guys, are, uh, by the way, are available on shopdisney.com. But si since The Mandalorian came out on Disney Plus and the sheer popularity of Grogu, the child, yeah. all the streaming services are jumping on the bandwagon with their um, original series now that they want to capture the imagination of people again and hopefully with characters that are, are loved that and enjoyed as much. So... With that in mind, I'm going to give you, I've got a whole list of, of streaming services with different right. different things. But the options on most of them are, it's a sliding scale as far as the subscription price. Okay. If you want a basic subscription, many of them are just very minimal, like $5 a month, but you'll get ads. You can jump up the, bump up the, the price and get no ads or even further and get 4K. So you have to actually look into the, into the websites to figure out what it is you want from them. But let's start with, um, I know a lot of, I mean, my husband does not read novels. He's only reads nonfiction. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people really like documentaries. Mm -hmm. And Magellan TV is all documentaries about mm -hmm. everything. Wow, I've never even heard of that one. I have no. how, how, how much is it? What's the subscription? Um, it is, for a base price right now, it's five dollars a month. Magellan TV, huh? Magellan TV. My dad might like that one for Father's Day. That yeah. that, that would be good for Father's Day. Mm -hmm. And I do have a few others that are really good for for um, documentaries. Curiosity Stream. It's twenty twenty dollars or twenty. I did twenty dollars a year. They're all documentaries. Wow. They take you, they take you around the world. They take they take you into into cooking. They just everything, wow. everything. And um, Journey, J-O-U-R-N-Y, that's brought to you from Ovation. And actually, that's a free one. Mm -hmm. And that's just travel around the world and new adventures. It's really cool because you can just pick a place to go and just explore it. Like it's really fun. TV or how do you find it? J-O-U-R-N-Y. Uh, just uh, text, uh, Google that and, and you'll find Journey. Oh. And how to subscribe. Actually, like I said, it's free. So okay. you just have to sign up. It's but, um, okay, there's another one that is free, but it dubbed the ads and everything. It's Crackle. Hmm. You heard of Crackle? Yeah. I have Crackle, I have yeah. Heard of crackle. Yeah, crackle. I have heard of the other ones, but I've heard of Crackle. Well, they have sports and, and British and comedy and everything on Crackle. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to get into some of my favorites because um, right now I am so excited for a limited time. True Royalty TV is giving you a go go. Totally Buy awesome. one, get one free. You buy a subscription. For somebody, you get your own free or vice versa, or if you have a subscription already, you, you, know, you just buy one, get one free, which is an amazing thing. And I have been waiting for this forever because this is a fabulous gift for anybody that wants to know anything about a royalty in Britain, in Japan, Princess Grace, uh, Monaco, the whole thing, the whole gamut. And That's it's really it's, fun. I love their BOGO. They have a fabulous BOGO going on right now. So um, buy one, get one. 
That's so really interesting. Cool. So like I'm on I'm on here right now looking and I'm looking at like Larissa, the lost Romanov. Yes. Kate, the making of a modern queen. Mm -hmm. Prince Philip, an extraordinary life. Like I'd be interested in that because you you hear you know stuff and then yes. you're like, what did what were you really like? You know, that's this is a look cool at one. look at there's a there's a three part documentary on Monaco, hey. and, and how the prince is has to he he actually does do a lot there, Prince um, mm -hmm. Prince Albert, but there's also a, a wonderful documentary about the Spanish king. Juan Carlos and the disgrace he had and how he stepped down and I mean this was just amazing. Wow. It's super, really cool. Super interesting. Now staying basically with um, British, well it's British, Australian, New Zealand, UK. Acorn TV has no ads and it's six dollars a month mm -hmm. and they have some fabulous original That's British TV huh? It's British TV. Well, yeah, it's Australian. Right now, um, a couple of years ago, they had a series called Miss Fisher's Murder Mysteries. Oh, yeah. yeah. I thought mm -hmm. some of those. And that took place in the 20s. Now, Miss Fisher's Modern Murder Mysteries takes place in the 60s. And they're coming out uh, the first week of June with the second season. Mm -hmm. And, oh, my God, the the costumes, the mod costumes that she wears and the hair. And it's just, it takes you right back to the, the mid 1960s. It is so much fun to watch. That's so fun. And another one on there is Murdoch Mysteries. And Mur I, yes, Murdoch, we are addicted. My whole family is addicted to Murdoch Mysteries. Sure, we are love, Mur Murdoch Mysteries is like, it takes uh, place around 1900. Mm -hmm. like, everything is changing and all these event inventions are happening. And, Jeff and I, like, seriously, we had heard from a couple of people that it was good. And oh, it is. Every single night, we turn on more mysteries and we play each other words with friends on our phones. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's really really how, they, how, they, how they bring in real people and how they mesh them into the storylines. It's is so fascinating. And you get all, like, the clothing and the time period and, and, all, and how they would use inventions and how, like, the detective industry mm -hmm. was developing. And... And then I think we're in like season, I think we're at the end of season nine of like 19 seasons and it's still going. It's amazing. Yes, still going. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, we've watched all seasons. We binged all last fall on um, everything. And uh, actually check out my, my website. You'll see, I had an interview with the Murdoch people. So that was kind of fun. What? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Who they were all set. Them? They were all in all, all in their costumes. And, really? uh, yeah. Francine, that's great. That's amazing. So you'll be able to hear. Well, that was they were just finishing filming their last season that they were doing. That's but great. moving on now to BritBox, which is seven dollars a month. There's no ads, but they're they're really cool because they've they're obviously the British as well. But they have mysteries, comedies, dramas. Um, Good Morning Britain, shows that are shown in England, you can get them here. You can get them via Gritbox. That's really cool. I see Agatha Christie's Perot. Mm -hmm. the, and then, of course, the like the classic Pride and Prejudice BBC yes. series that, ever, that is the, the best one, I personally think. I agree. Good, good shows. That's cool. Can I just, I just have to laugh, right? When I was a baby... My mother would sit me in front of the test patterns with a box of Zweeback crackers and go back to sleep if I woke up too early. I mean, we did because there was no such thing as 24 hour programming. As you're going through this and I'm realizing that there is no way that in this lifetime we could all watch everything that's available. It's so crazy. It's blowing our minds, actually, because I, I get a lot of these complimentary because I review the, the shows. So I, I get a lot of them. And for us to try and figure out what are we going to watch tonight, which channel, what what are we going to test? Um, it's it's really there's a lot out there, but I remember the days when television would go off the air and they played the national anthem and they just have. Yes. Like, I remember that too. patterns on. Yeah, like every once in a while, at three in the morning, I'd wake up and there would just be like a line. Beep, yeah. Beep, uh -huh. Like who in the right mind would ever be up at three in the morning? <laughs> long way. We've come a long way. Um, Apple TV for five dollars a month. 
Maybe. Apple TV. Can I just say one set? I'm so sorry. I keep interrupting your friend thing, but Ted Lasso, if you have not seen it, Loved. You it. can't wait for the next season. It is the best show. And like, have you seen a friend scene? Um, parts, a little bit. So I've, I've seen so many things right now. I'm try, I, I, you know, I have this huge list of things trying to tell, narrow down for you guys right now. But, Sorry, I will be quiet, but no, that's no, no, that's, that's <laughs> the Apple TV is fabulous. I, I put not, I don't know how I could survive without my Apple TV. Um, Discovery Plus. Okay, now that's $5 a month. That includes... HGTV, Food Network, TLC, ID, Animal Planet, Discovery, um, D DIY, The Dodo, which is animal, Love the animal, Dodo. For animal lovers. It's all there. So even if you have those, those um, channels on your, on your uh, cable or satellite, as we do, uh, you can watch on demand anything because you go through Discovery Plus for $5 a month and it's, they're all right there. Mm. They, they have some really good documentaries as well. And I, I, I can't say enough about that one. That one's a good one. Um, Pluto TV is free. Um, Disney Plus, obviously. Now that's, they just bumped up in price. They're $8 a month now. Eight bucks a month. But with him, they can afford it because people are craving more of this little Grogu guy. Yeah. And they're, they're coming up with, with more. And I've, I they they I can't tell you that Disney you know that, um WandaVision that that series yes, I, I love that one just as much as yeah. the Mandalorian. It was there are so many. Um Amazon Prime. Now if you have an Amazon Prime membership from Amazon, you you get your the Prime TV. But otherwise it's nine dollars a month. Um and they have some really, really good shows too. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have to buy most of those. For me, I feel like I have to buy most of those that I want to watch on Prime. Is really? Yeah, they, they they do, but there's a lot of them for free with your Amazon. Prime. But, but it, it's not all. It's not all. Um, let me see what else. Oh my god, there's obviously Paramount Plus. It's six dollars a month for no ads, um, or or minute, uh, so with ads, ten dollars a month without ads. Um, HBO Max is fifteen dollars a month with no ads. No, they have originals. I, what, what I really wanted to talk to you about, and I think we've gone through a lot of them that, uh, mm -hmm. that are probably of interest to, to the viewers, but what happened was originally we had the three networks and then mm -hmm. decades later, PBS joined. Mm -hmm. And then we had um, cable with HBO mm -hmm. and you could watch it when it was on and then satellite joined in and all these channels came. And then the uh, networks decided, oh, we can have our own cable channel. Mm -hmm. So they got money off of that. And now their cable channels, they, they have those, but they say, we can make cha-ching thanks to this little guy. And, and the next, well, networks will tell you that he has been the main impetus right now. I've heard that from them. Uh, why not add a streaming service so they get their money from the cable or or, or um, satellite provider? They get their money from their um, their uh, cable channels besides the regular networks, and now they're making money on their streaming services. So they are racking it up. But people would prefer to have the streaming services than anything because you can sit down and say, "I'm in the mood for such and such." Plump, click there, you watch it. And I have to say that what they've done in terms of original programming has been brilliant. And they're all very different in what they create as original programming. I think yes. so too. It's been very interesting to see how each streaming service takes on kind of its own flavor in a way. Right. And uh, but Netflix with the crown. I've had people say, oh, I, I learned about the royal family from that. That's yeah bogus because that's all fiction it's fiction it's based on real people but it's fiction and if you watch true royalty their um let's see royal beat talk show i love i 
Love that. I can't wait for each new episode. They will tell you the difference between what happens on the crown and what actually happened because they had people oh, there. So, so it's fun. really cool. Well, I'm just so blown away by all of the amazing things that you've already showed us today on this channel. just got her Mother's and Father's Day gifts. I now. did. I just got them all ready for it. So thank you, Francine. I really appreciate your time. Oh, you're welcome. I love you coming on the show. It's, it's always so much fun to have you, Francine. Thank you.